Now we're going to turn to a big announcement from South Korea's education ministry that was made just within the past hour or so. It has announced new guidelines to support in-person classes for students who are among the lower grades of elementary schools as well as those who are attending special education schools. We have our Che Won Jong on the line for us to give us the details. So Won Jong, fill us in. Yes, Mark, just uh, less than a, an hour ago, South Korea's education ministry announced new guidelines for reopening schools, you know, particularly for younger students who are in the first, second, and third grades of the elementary school. The ministry said Tuesday that the government will assign nearly 2,000 contract teachers for classes of more than 30 students to provide them basic educational support for those in need during future in-person classes. The ministry also said it will provide more support for special education schools. Uh, it is bringing the AI technology as a new learning tool to help schools resume a more individual learning in subjects such as math, Korean, and English starting next semester. The government is also planning to hire you know, professional counseling teachers who can visit schools frequently to provide emotional support for the, these younger students. Uh, the government is also expanding care services such as after-school care for students at elementary school nationwide and are hoping to reach more than 459,000 students. So, Mark, overall, it's a part of the government's new plan to get these younger students back at in-person in classes as a step toward getting a life you know, back to some normal life. So that's all I have for you now. Back to you, Mark.